my name is Rebecca Kubaker, reporting for Entertainment Monthly, and I am here on the Haley Fest red carpet where the scandal cast is about to come out, and I'm going to be asking them some questions. I'm Rebecca yes. from Entertainment Monthly, Emerson College. We just wrote for New England. Cool. Yeah. We shoot right next yeah. to the LA yeah. How is it? We have shot on the LA campus. Yeah, how is it? Uh, it's awesome. It's very interesting architecture. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a great building. I was very excited to finally get up there. Yeah, yeah. We have like, classrooms are in the middle, and then the two mm -hmm. residences. I have an intense fear of heights, so I did a lot of holding up the rail. Yeah, yeah. It's very strange because you've got like, so many different views. Yeah, it's like, actually a very cool view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I've been studying there in about a year and a half. I'm actually out here from Wilson, uh, which is where our main campus is. Yeah. So, tell me a little bit about, I know you really like to live tweet, you like to be on Twitter. What are the things yeah. you love and don't love about Twitter? Because I've seen you on Periscope and all sorts of things. What do you love about social media? I love that you get the raw, unvarnished reaction. Yeah. Actually, watch the show. That includes love and hate, and I enjoy both. <laughs> I enjoy, yeah. I, and maybe even slightly more enjoy interacting with people who detest. You take it to try it. I admire that. So let's talk a little bit about David. He's in this sure. kind of love triangle here. Where do you think that's unlikely? Yeah. That, that would appear. Yeah. I've been taking over the fix Olivia love yeah. triangle with James. So how's that been for you? When I got engaged to my wife, which is 20 years ago, my heart. I remember saying that the only <sighs> like hesitation she had about marrying an actor was like love scenes. Yeah. And I remember saying, honey, look at this face. It's not going to be an issue. And then, <laughs> thanks to people like Shonda Rhimes, You're in it to win it now. I would have yeah. predicted it. But, yeah. uh, it's fun. It's yeah. fun to see every new script and see what insane plot twist Shonda the writer's house. I really like David because I feel like he has this comedic twist to scale, which is a very dark show. Yes. Well, now you've made my day. That yeah. makes me very happy. Yeah, so I, I try to look for humor. humor. Yeah, and I feel like you're kind of like in that sense of how to describe That humor. makes me feel good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for having nice me. To meet you. Thank you. Cornelius Smith. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Um, so, you're new to the show. How's it been so far? It's been a bore. Oh my God! <laughs> no, it's been it's been amazing. I've been, yeah. having, I've been having such an amazing time. Uh, really, the time of my life has been a dream come true. Uh, there's never a dull moment. I'm excited every time I go to work. Yeah. And uh, excited about the outcome as well. Yeah. So this is your first Haley panel. Are you a little bit nervous or I'm excited? Not, I'm not nervous, but I'm just kind of taking in the, the scene the and environment, the environment yeah. and just getting the pulse. So yeah. so far so good. Good yeah. energy thus far. Yeah. So talking a little bit about Marcus, you know, we have Huck and Quinn kind of making him look like an outsider and kind of trying to protect him because he's really the only one wearing a white hat right now. What do you have to say on that? Do you think he's going to go to the dark side? Do you think he's going to be the white hat? I think, I think right now, he, you know, that's a good point. He's the only one wearing the white hat right now. And if Marcus didn't have the white hat, he wears the white hat. Exactly. So I think we need it. I think, I think, I mean, I would choose to preserve that yeah. just in terms of looking from the show on the basis of, you know, right versus wrong. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you need some, you need the right to exist strongly so that it can really contrast. So, uh, yeah, I think look for Marcus to hold the white hat, and if he loses it, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you think maybe Huck and Quinn will eventually let him in and kind of realize that they can have this friendship with him without maybe taining the white hat? Or how do you think that's going to go? Uh, I think I think that's what we have to kind of wait to see how it plays out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I hope so. Yeah. Uh, I think the most interesting thing and exciting thing is is to see if that is possible and how that plays out. Exactly. Can they exist as friends? Yeah. And, Function and still do scandal business. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Even OPA is kind of shifting with the bank kind of being the you know, the Oak we saw last episode. Right. You know, she's kind of filling in Olivia's spot because Olivia's in this first number. So do you think maybe Quinn, you could see her maybe taking over OPA at some point if Olivia wants to check her out? Taking over the reins and, and handling the business. Uh, she's, you know, well knowledgeable of the business. She's capable of it. And, and she possesses all the qualities that need to be there. Uh, you know, it's Olivia is clearly in an interesting place. And so we'll continue to see the different decisions she has to make and how that kind of trickles down into the background. Everybody's going to get some season of change right now. Yeah. Yeah. With change 
just come to break through. So I think about a break through is always Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, so I am a theater company as a company I started with all my best friends from NYU nine years ago. We all moved out to LA in the first couple years. We were looking at each other like, what the hell are we doing? And we made a theater company and made cheap theater. And since then, it's really grown and expanded. And we're so fortunate to a lot of us are working in different fields. And the event on Sunday was a 23-hour festival where we invited in all of our celebrity friends to come and fundraise because we have four world premieres coming up. And we need money to do them plays. <laughs> but all the information's at I am a theater spelled with an re dot com. Donate, come see our shows. You will not regret She's it. We are great. legit, I promise. So nice to talk with you. Thank you. It was called a 23-hour festival, play festival, but it was actually a 22-hour festival. Oh, yeah. So we literally got the script that the writer wrote the night before. We got the scripts at 7 a.m. on Sunday morning. We had to learn them and perform at 7 p.m. So as you can imagine, it was quite, uh, quite hectic and stressful, but such a blast. And everyone at IAM Theater, the company, is just so talented. And I had such a great time. I ended up playing a character who was a, a media you can remember it. Um, yeah, yeah, and kind of a, I, 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 yeah, we, we kind of meet this other couple, and I start seeing spirits come around them and, and read them. Yeah, it was, it was a blast. I would totally do it again. Thanks, Belle.